Hello and welcome to another demo from your friends here at Professional Data Management. In this video, we will be doing a quick install of the Java Development Kit, otherwise known as the JDK. You'll need to download the JDK in order to follow along and participate in upcoming Agile and DevOps demos, so let's go ahead and get started. Open up a browser and navigate to the Java download page. Links are in the description. We are running a 64-bit version of Windows, so let's select it right here. Now, when we first attempt to download the JDK, a dialog box pops up that says, sorry, you must accept the license agreement before downloading. So let's accept it by clicking this button and continue. Once it is downloaded, let's open it up and let's launch the executable. Okay, locate your JDK by going to your C drive. And opening up the program files. Open up the Java folder. And select the JDK. And copy the location to your clipboard. So now that we have the address, uh, we need to create a variable and map a path. So open up your control panel, choose system and security, click system, click advanced system settings. If you're like me, you may need to identify yourself uh, if you're not the administrator. Mine is actually doing that on a screen that you can't see, so let me drag it down right here. Now, as I said, we need to create a new variable, so let's choose environment variables. In the system variables menu, choose new. We're going to call our new variable Java underscore home. And go ahead and paste the location of the JDK that we copied and click OK. Now, in the systems variables window, click on path. Click edit, choose new, and we're going to type in percentage sign java underscore home percent backslash bin. Basically, we're specifying that whenever there's a search made for Java Home, it's going to go to this same location. So uh, let's launch a command prompt. Once again, it's uh, opening on a different screen, so let me drag it down for you again. Type java-version. Enter. And you're going to get a result that looks something like this, which verifies that the JDK installation was indeed successful. So that's it. That's all for this video. What we did was install the JDK, otherwise known as the Java Development Kit. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. is your buddy Jay signing off for your friends here at Professional Data Management. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.